thank you for staying. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if is is there any question that you want to. Uh, are there? Yes, there's a question back there. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> no. Yes, and and that was one of the. Um, one of the big things I wanted to achieve with uh, not just the end, but a lot of unanswered questions that we have during the film, because uh, that that was on purpose that we leave all this uh, this uh, questions for you to answer in your own way. I, I, and I, I really like when a movie or a book does that to me and. I really wanted to do that with most of the characters. I would just want to say that the, the music that you hear in the in the in the end uh, in the end is uh, called an answered question exactly. by Charles Ives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Portuguese, raise yes. your hands. Wow. Yes, good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> we were talking about that. We were wondering if someone would uh, ask us that question tonight. <laughs> it's, a, it's a special effect. No, it, it, it's actually a stunt horse that came from Spain. He's not Portuguese. And he came specially from Spain. And he's, uh, that's what he does. He, 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 he falls. That's <laughs> they he, are trained all his life to fall. Yeah. You know, I... I know that because I, I, I is the same that I produced a film of Oliver in the in the eighties and they were the same stunts and they are trained for that. I don't know if it is the same horse, but I think no, uh, I, I think <laughs> I think it's the same horse. They are really trained for that and is um, and. Uh, Yes, okay. and it, it was it was a real star because he told us uh, the they told us that he only gonna give us two takes, and <laughs> we had to treat him like a, a real star. <laughs> yes. Yeah, go Albano. It's your time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry? Yes. Yes. It was filmed in Portugal. It was filmed in Portugal, and it was filmed in a place, a very incredible place, where I have the chance of live for years, <laughs> and um, and there's a place not very far from Lisbon, and there's a true, you know, uh, farm that was in the period at that period of. Uh, the, I think the biggest farm in Europe, 17,000 hectares. Sorry? It's Isabel, uh, Isabel Branco. She, she's My co sister, costume, yeah. costume and, and art direction. She did everything, yes. She's amazing, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's right after the Rio Tejo. After the uh, river. It's Tagos River. Yeah, exactly. Comporta, yes. Yeah, Barroca d'Alva is the place. Yeah. Uh, no, that, that we, we designed and invented it, everything, yes. <laughs> The the island is there, but uh, we we invented that 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 little boat. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Yes. Go on. Uh, it it 
it wasn't yet because it's only oh, it's going to premiere on 19th this month. But uh, all the screenings that we already had, it's been great, greatly received. We just uh, premiered in Venice, the festival, and now we're here. And, uh, and then we're going to Portugal. On Saturday, we have the, uh, the premiere with, uh, uh, with uh, the big, huge premiere with our president. And in the 19th, we'll open a, w a very wide opening in Portugal because, you know, it's a small country with not many screens, but Albano is a star there. And you open in, in 60 theaters, you know, and... Uh, Right on, right on spot. <laughs> Up to you now. Okay. It doesn't look. <laughs> it is him. It, that's him. Uh, I believe that's a compliment. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we we construct all this based on another person. It's not me. It's it's uh, it's above me. It, my work. It's not about me. It's something that it's above me. And this work specifically, it's about imperfection. Actually, it's not. It's about what it's. It's not there. It's about silence. It's about the the space that we create with silence to to thoughts pop up and to questions appear and all that. So it's, uh, it's like um, Miles Davis, for example, when he's playing the silences, it, they are so precious, you know, all the music, it's so beautiful because of the silences. So we tried to build something similar here based on the silences, a bit like this. Oh, I can say that it's the only actor that could, uh, could act in Portugal this role. No one, and we wait for him to be free, to be to make this film because you knew that uh, it was uh, uh, Tiago that says I will do it with uh, Albano, because I think it's really the something that you 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 need such an incredible actor, and you knew that with Al Albano we can have that, it, and it was, I think, one of the greatest achievement of Tiago and Albano is that they work together. Uh, and Miguel Borges, uh, yes. And Miguel Borges. And, and yes, who said that? Thank you, Paul. Yes. Yes. Yes, Miguel, Miguel Borges is like, uh, uh, I would say, a lucky charm for me. I always try to use him in every film that I do. Yes. And, uh, and that was one of the things that I talked with him right when I invited him. And I, I told him, like, you barely have any lines and I need you. Yes, yes. And he has such a strong uh, uh, personality and he, he, he exists. And uh, that's very, very strong. But I think that... Yes, <laughs> just the walk. Sorry? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. This lady on the left, on the left, but yes. yes. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to have, I'm going to have to ask you to develop on that because... <laughs> Are they? Uh, okay. I'm a, I'm a father myself and I, I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> what, what do you mean by annoying? In, in what? It, yes. Okay. Okay. That's different. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're not happy, but they're always crying and they're always making noise. That, that was intentional to have to have life, to, have, to create this feeling of life around you and uh, this, this thing that they're not just sitting there, then uh, that, that was the, the reason.
You have to understand that in these families, when someone is so what you can bigger than life, someone is is someone that is destroying something inside of his family. And these children are really someone that suffer from this uh, character, yeah. from this thing. And that it's very important, you know. The, the character of Miguel, for example, the, when he's young, you know, is something that, you know, uh, Tiago, when he was shooting, says, I think the clue of the film is Miguel. You know, someone that is in a, has a sensibility, there's something, and the father will never understand him. And you can feel that from the start, from the first scene in this. Uh, and I think it is something that he came from the, himself, the, the young children, you know, the little the, actor. The and uh, how Tiago make that, uh, you know, to, uh, take the, that for the film is something that is incredible because I, I, you know, in a way was witness of that. You know, how these big characters can destroy everything inside, and how these children are not happy. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, again, I didn't want to to explain uh, a lot of the of the things. What what I, that scene is built up to to construct something that is upon him is like an heri something that is gonna uh, how do you call it? heritage that that comes towards him, a way of seeing life, a way the father is towards that his son just died and he wants him to see and that's something that's going to mark him for life that was the reason i didn't want to go and dwell much into it i think in a way in my way of watching the film and the way i build it up uh, with them i think it was probably because he was weak he was he we felt he was weak and that's why joan then behaves so in such a way with his own son but that's my interpretation it's and it's open to i didn't want to close it in any way yes exactly yeah yes Yes, and for me, uh, erdad, and I always went to the to the Latin origin of the word that it's hereditas, and it's 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 all about heritage and what we what we get from others and what we pass on to the others. Yes. 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 It's it's lack of freedom, frustration of the life, and you always and you always uh, and you always uh, how do you know, how do you say it? Chikargara, and you. You unleash on on others, and yes, without even knowing noticing it, and that's one thing I always wanted to achieve here is like it, the own characters don't know the reasons of their actions most of the time, and that and I think it's very powerful on the way Albino's character um, destroys his own son without wanting it and uh, i don't think he ever wanted it and but that's something that he does and uh, and uh, i always i'm uh, very interested in that part of relationships between uh, uh, it doesn't it doesn't i don't rem <laughs> i don't think he does but um
No, he tries. He tries to reach out to him, and, he try, and that's that's a, a big, a big, a very important moment for me. Is like he tries to reach out to his own son. Yes, he tries to connect with him, but they, they're they're unable to do it, and and that's something that uh, that I really wanted to to achieve. I don't, I don't think you say you're sorry. No, I don't say that. <laughs> You should have. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will say it now. Sorry, now. Yes. Sorry. This is the, the last question. Yes. Uh, phew, what do you mean? <laughs> the entire movie? <laughs> No, it's like we we approach the interiors. We we really wanted to to go to very dark interiors and with uh, just one fountain of light to the interior shots. Uh, the, all the exteriors we had to use all all the we have to play with the, what the weather gave us because we we were in a short window of time and what actually happened we were aiming for a very sunny film and we had one of the cloudiest summers <laughs> in Portugal. So, so it ended up like this, but I really enjoy the atmosphere that it gave. Yeah. Let's go, yes. She can't go. Uh, you you can look at. Uh, I can try to explain one thing, but I, I I really like it to be open. But but I'm gonna try to. Uh, one of the most most reasons is because he says the kids stay with him, and she says she she can't leave them. You know she. Exactly, and she couldn't probably, and uh, and the thing, but for me the biggest. It's another one, one of the biggest unanswered questions is why she puts up with this so long. And the answer is because people do. <laughs> and and uh, you cannot really sometimes explain. It's, and that's something that really interested me, like, because that's one of the questions you take home. And, uh, and that's something that um, in everyday life you see people putting up with a lot of things and you don't know why and uh, that was one of the reasons yes 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 well uh the goal, the main goal, was to create something um, based on imperfection. It's not complete, you know. It's something that it's open. It's uh, it's a villain. It's sweet. It's a courage guy. It's a coward guy. So it's it's a human thing. Uh, I was always always searching for something that remind us that I am human. I'm not perfect. So. That was my main goal, to create something uh, waiting to be complete, you know? Yeah, and we fought a lot about the... Because João's character could be easily drawn to being a meanful guy, just this bad, bad guy, or a an hero. And we talked a lot and we never wanted to, to be like that. And even with this relationship with Leonor, I think uh, there was a couple of scenes that uh, with Albano, it wasn't on the script that he would arrive and kiss her or arrive and touch her hair. And Albano was suggesting that and I, th I thought was great to give you that, that amount of, 
of uh, things that you cannot explain and uh, ambiguity. And we really liked playing because he doesn't like her. Uh, at some points, you, you feel that he doesn't like her, but there's some points that you feel that he might like her and he loved her sometimes. And where where is that gone? And we were playing with it a lot. Okay. Join me in thanking Paolo, Chavo, and Alberto. Thank, Thank you. you.